Hello guys. Till now we have used the regression, binary classification, multi-class classification and image classification. In this section we are going to learn about the other catalog that's supported by the ML.NET. In this session we will learn about the anomaly detection. Anomaly detection is the identification of the rare item, event or observation which raises the suspicion by differing significantly from the majority of the data. It also known as outlier detection. It is commonly used in the bank and insurance fraud as well as in the stock market. Here is an example of it. You can see that almost points are plotted around this area. But the point plotted here is a look like a fraud as it does not like the other normal transaction. Let's see the our data set for the example. Here I am going to use this data which represent 10 student marks in the five subjects. Let me generate the chart for this data set so you can easily understand. Here in the chart you can see that the value for subject 1, 2 and 4 going straight. But in the case of the subject 3 and 5, values are going ups and downs. So those are the rare items in the our data. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Here I have created the folder for the session 39 and added the data set for this and updated its property to copy this file to output folder. Created input model that has the subject name and marks. Max is a factor type that contains the 10 different value. Then created the result model. Inherited from the input model. It has the predicted label and score. In the demo class, I just created the execute method and create the instance of the ML context only. Let me load the data from the CSV file. Separator will be the a comma and it has the headers. I want to make this example simple as possible so I am not adding the any pre-processing or other kind of estimators. We need to use the trainer of the anomaly detection. Randomize PCA. Here PCA stands for the principal component analysis. You can read more about it on the Wikipedia. I am passing the option here. Feature column name will be the marks and specify the one for rank. Rank specify the number of component in the PCA. Let's create a model for this pipeline. Transform the train data set. Convert the transform data view to the list of the result model. Loop through the list. And print. It has anomaly. Score. Subject name. And marks. And pass value for the all placeholders. Mark will separate it by the comma. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Here we got the subject 3 and subject 5 as its score is above the 0 0.5. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Anomaly detection used to identify the rare observation in the data. Here is an example that we have created in which we are using the data set that represents the student marks 
In the pipeline, we have added the randomized PCU trainer of the NWD detection catalog. In the options, specify the feature column and rank. Then created a model. Transform the train data set to the model and obtain the list of the result model from that. Look through list and print out the detail. Stay tuned for the next session.